And how did a hijacked email get into the hands of the head of the state Democratic Party? A federal investigation into the governor's stolen emails has led to child pornography charges against a powerful Democratic operative. And tonight we've learned that the person charged with child porn sent one of those hijacked emails that had nothing to do with porn to the state Democratic Party chairman. Here's News 13's Katie Kim. We first reported last week the FBI interviewed more than a dozen people related to leaked emails from the governor's campaign account and that indictments were on the way. Well, we're now learning that investigation has led to a much bigger case. It all started in 2009. Then candidate Susana Martinez hired campaign manager Jamie Estrada, giving him access to her Susana 2010 email account. By late 2009, the governor says she fired him. Federal investigators say Estrada still had her account information and in late 2010 began illegally redirecting the communications. He's now charged with stealing those emails and lying to federal agents. The FBI says one of the people Estrada was sending those emails to was Jason Loetta, a Democratic political consultant. Loetta then used an alias to forward one of the emails to current state Democratic Party chairman Sam Bregman. Last July, Bregman, an Albuquerque attorney, used the email in an unrelated case involving a fired state employee. The governor's political advisor tells News 13 they recognized the email as one that was from the hijacked account and turned the info over to the feds. Agents quickly linked the email to Loetta and issued a search warrant on his former Northwest Albuquerque house to see if he had more stolen emails. What they found was much more serious. Discs containing images of child porn. Also around this time, Loetta was a paid consultant for Bregman's political action committee, Grassroots New Mexico. We wanted to know if Bregman knew the email was sent from a hijacked account. He has not returned our multiple calls. I think the public deserves to know what he knew, when he knew, and how much he knew. Uh, but now he's, all he says is no comment. Loetta was arrested in Los Angeles last Friday. He'll have to return to Albuquerque to face a judge. Loetta faces a maximum sentence between 5 to 20 years in federal prison if convicted. In the Newsplex, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. A third person was named as a possible suspect in the federal search warrants. Anissa Ford was the personal assistant to then-candidate Martinez during the campaign. She was not hired to a position in the administration. Federal search warrants state she had conversations online with Luetta and Estrada and received emails. Sources tell us she is cooperating with the investigation.